Welcome back to the third video. This one's going to cover how to make this a bit more like an RTS style selection kind of thing. Uh, you'll see what I mean. What we're going to do is a bit of a check. So when we're clicking on an object, we're actually going to check to see if it is already selected or not. Uh, if it's not, we're going to add it to a list of objects that are selected so we can keep track of which objects we have selected already. Uh, and then we can sort of make decisions based on that. So I'm going to lay it out like a, a traditional RTS style thing where we're going to use the left control key to decide if we're toggling an object or if we're just selecting only one object. Uh, so if you're familiar with RTS games, you, this should be familiar to you. you you'll know what this is about. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. We're going to have to change a couple of things, but nothing too massive. Uh, and I think we can do most of it from the click script. So uh, the first, one, first thing we're going to need is a list to keep track of all the current objects that we have selected. Um, we're going to do that by creating a private list of, say, uh, game objects is fine, I guess. That should be good. Um, we'll call it selected objects. Now, whenever you're working with lists as well, they need to be initialized. So we'll say void start. We'll do that when the game starts. Uh, selected objects equals a new list of game objects. Alrighty. So now we need to actually do some stuff with that list and keep track of some stuff. Uh, so we've already got here that if the player presses, you know, the main, uh, the left mouse button, uh, it's going to fire that raycast and hidden object. So we can probably do this within that part. So after we've fired the raycast, uh, what we're going to do is we'll do a check. We'll say if input dot get key. So just get key, we want to see if it's being held. Uh, and that'll be left CTRL control or whatever you want. You can make that whatever you like. Um, we'll put an else there as well because we'll be putting some stuff in there. Uh, we'll need to take this, the click on uh, object where it, uh, where it initializes the click on script object. Uh, variable, sorry. We'll put that up here just above that uh, left control check because we will still use that Okay, so how do we want this to work? Alright, first of all, uh, if the player is holding down the left control key, the first thing we should probably check is say, okay, if in the click on script, which is the, the object that's uh, currently, or the variable that's currently holding the ray hit script in, uh, so if the click on script dot currently selected, if that equals, whoop, double equals, we'll say false, and we'll need an else there as well. So if it equals false, what do we want to do? So if the object's not currently selected, first thing we probably want to do is add that object to the list that we created before. So we'll say selected objects dot add because we want to add to it. Uh, what are we adding? We are adding the ray hit dot collider dot game object because we actually want to store the game object itself, not the collider. I suppose you could make it a list of colliders, probably doesn't matter, um, but I'm just going to use game objects. Uh, so the first thing we do, if that object's not already selected, uh, we're going to add it to that list. Then we are, what are we going to do then? We're going to say click on script dot currently selected is going to equal true. So it is now selected. Uh, once more, click on script dot click me to tell the object to update itself. Cool, pretty straightforward. So we we basically say, okay, you've clicked on an object, it's hidden object, uh, are you holding down the control key? If you are and the object isn't already selected, we want to add it to the list of selected objects, we want to tell it that it's selected and we want to get it to update its color. Now the opposite of that, so if the object isn't, uh, if the object is already selected, so if it's currently selected already, then that means uh, first of all that the object is should already be in our list, so the first thing we'll probably want to do, say selected objects dot remove, and we'll say ray hit dot collider dot game object, and it should keep track of that, so it should remove any existing reference uh, to this game object from the list, which just helps us to ensure that it stays up to date. Uh, we also want to say click on the, we want to say click on script dot currently selected equals false because we now want it to be no longer selected. And once again, click on script dot click me to get it to update. Ugh, there we go, cool. All right, so that should work for the control key. Um, and that's all pretty well and good. Now we wanna do something else. What do we wanna do? 
So if the player isn't holding down the left control key, how do we want this to behave? I'm going to work it so that if you click on an object and you're not holding down the left control key, it's just going to select only that object. So that means that it's going to have to tell that object that it is selected, get it to update itself, uh, probably add itself to the list as well, but it also wants to make sure that any objects that are already in that list deselect. So we're going to have to go through the list and tell every object to deselect itself uh, to update, and then once we're done, we'll do the rest of the stuff we need to with the current object. So you'll see what I mean. So what we're going to do is else, so we'll do a quick check and we'll say if selected objects, uh, what is it, is it count for a list? Yeah, if the selected objects count is greater than zero, so if there are actually stuff, uh, if there already are some objects in that list, because we don't need to do it if it's not, uh, we'll say for each game object, uh, what are we going to say, we'll just call it game object obj in selected objects uh, for each game object we're going to say obj dot and we're going to have uh, we're going to have to use a get component we could just reference it but i'm going to be lazy uh, get component what's it called again it's click on script or click on uh, so what's the first thing we want to check so for each object in that list we want to basically tell it that it's no longer selected and we're going to have to do the get component again. This is what I mean. You could, you could just reference it once. There's probably a good practice to do so. There's probably better ways to do that. Uh, click me. There you go. So every object that's already in the selected list is going to deselect itself and then update to change its color. And it's only going to do that if there's stuff in the list. So once we're done with that, once we've checked the list, um, actually after the for each loop, sorry, what we want to do is say selected objects dot clear that gets rid of the uh, anything that's in that list. So once it's done all that, we then need to get the current object, which was ray hit. And, and that's the thing, it's not, it's not going to matter if this object's already selected or not. It doesn't matter. Uh, if it's already selected, it's already in the list, and it's just been told it's not selected anymore, and it's been removed from the list. Uh, so we can essentially treat this as a deselected object. Um, so probably the all we probably need to do is just, yeah, add it to the list and update it. So we'll say selected objects dot add. We're going to add ray hit, oops, ray hit dot collider dot game object. We're adding the game object once again. Uh, so once we've added it to the list, we can then, what is it? Nope, we've already got the reference to the script. So we can say click on script because this should still be the same object. Oops, click on script dot currently selected uh, equals <laughs> true. And then click on script dot click me to get it to update. Sweet, that should take care of that. Um, and this, we don't need to worry about. We can get rid of that because it's already doing everything we need there. Cool, so let's just uh, recap. So if the player left clicks, we are creating the ray hit object, we are firing the ray cast, um, we're storing a reference to the script attached to the object that we've hit, if we hit it. Uh, we then check to see if the left control key is held down, if it is. Uh, what do we do? We check to see if the object's already selected. If it's not, we add it to the list of selected objects, we select it, we update it. Uh, if it's not already, uh, if it is already selected, sorry, we remove it from the list because it should already be in there. We tell it that it's no longer selected, and we get it to update. Uh, if we're not holding down the left control key, what we do is we check, we quickly check to see if the list of selected objects has anything in it. If it does, we go through the list, we tell it that it's no longer selected, we update it, and then we eventually clear the list. Once we've done all that, we take the current object, we add it, we, s we set it to selected, and we update it. That should take care of it. I've probably forgotten something, but hey, we'll find out in a second. Um, Alright, cool. We should be able to run this and see if it's going to behave. I'll just check, make sure I'm not getting any errors. Don't worry about that. That was me debugging. Running the game. It's either going to work or it's all going to go up hideously in flames. So if we click, it's green. If we click another one, hey, what do you know? It's only selecting that one. If we hold control, we 
we can select multiple. How awesome is that? <laughs> uh, we can, and of course we can do that. Now there's also something else missing. Most RTS style cameras uh, would probably have a right click to clear selection. So let's see if we can implement that now. We just go back into the click script and we can, we'll do this outside of the left click obviously. Uh, if we did it within it, it would be very frustrating. <laughs> so we'll say if input dot get mouse button down, make this a right click, which should be one. So, and we're basically going to repeat what we did down here uh, without having to worry about adding an object. So we could probably even just copy and paste it. So basically, if we right click, it's going to do exactly what it did down here in the, uh, the non-left control bit, just the left click. Uh, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to go, it's going to check the list. If it's got objects in it, it'll clear them out, update them. Uh, and then get rid of the list, which basically clears it out and allows you to start blank. So uh, we'll just quickly check that out, make sure that works. And if I select some stuff, cool, cool, and then right click, it clears them. So there you have uh, the trappings of a very basic RTS style camera. Um, there's a couple of other things we could add, obviously, like a box rectangle selection, which is something I'd like to work on next. Uh, I haven't quite got that working how I want it yet, though, so I might hold off on that one <laughs> for just a little bit. Uh, otherwise, look, if you think of anything, if there's any way I could expand on this or any sort of function you're trying to get to work uh, that doesn't work for whatever reason, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to try and turn it into a tutorial if, if it's something that I could. Uh, failing that, I might just be able to help you out. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe if you got anything out of this video at all. Uh, I'd love to hear from you if you did sort of get any help from this. Uh, I'd like to sort of know how it did help you uh, and the kind of things you're working on too because they'll, they'll help me make some better tutorials in future. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.